Hey guys, we are out here in our farmhouse garden and this year we planted a lilac hedge along the fence right along here um, as a windbreak and whenever we plant anything around the farmhouse we use landscape fabric to keep weeds down and we're going to show you a little trick we use to keep it from fraying and to get the holes exactly where you want them. This project is in partnership with Burnsmatic. All right, let me take you out and show you those new lilacs. All right, this is, this is Brooks, are you being my assistant today? <laughs> um, so we planted four lilacs along this stretch of the hedge. Um, these first and the third one should give us purple blooms and these other two are gonna give us pink blooms in the spring. And they all should get about six to eight feet tall. So they're gonna create a really beautiful green hedge along here. They're gonna block the wind, which comes this direction from the Northwest. So the garden should be a lot more calm and it just should be a really beautiful entrance to the garden. So our bed already had the lavender in, so we decided just to put the lilacs in between. If you were gonna start a hedge from scratch, you would clear the entire bed and put down landscape fabric along the whole thing. So we prepared the space by clearing out the gravel and any existing weeds. Then we dug holes that were a little bit larger than the lilac bucket. We test fit the lilac's root ball in there to make sure that there was a little bit of extra room for compost and soil conditioner. And then we cut landscape fabric for our spaces. Um, I wanted to talk a second about this landscape fabric. The one that we use is really durable. We've used it for a couple years now and it lasts really well from year to year and it really, really keeps weeds at bay. So we'll link that in the description. Um, we use a torch instead of scissors to cut this. And um, you can see here, if you use scissors, it just really frays. And it's really hard if you're planting like in the middle of this to get a good cut for the actual plant to go in. So instead we use a torch and we burn it. You can see right here what that looks like. It keeps it from fraying and it also is really easy to get a hole in the center. We tucked gravel in the corners of our landscape fabric to hold it in place. You can also use landscape staples and that's what we do when we have like a long stretch that we're doing. So we use the Burns-O-Matic TS4000 torch to sear the holes in our landscape fabric. This is just an all-purpose torch. But it's great, handy to have and it worked really well for this project. Once you have your hole seared, it's time to put the plant in the holes and you can kind of reach under the fabric a bit to make sure you can get enough soil in that hole. And once those look good, you're gonna cover it up with gravel or soil or whatever you're using over top of the fabric. So that's how we plant things around our farmhouse. It's a pretty simple process. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks to Burns-O-Matic for sponsoring this post. <laughs>